The 66th International Motor Show, or IAA, has opened in Frankfurt. This year's motto is Mobility Connects. About 1,100 exhibitors from 39 countries are presenting their newest products, including 219 world premieres. The trend to cars with off-road capability continues unbroken. Just before the show opened, Jaguar presented what may be the show's most spectacular images. With the first SUV in its portfolio, the British car maker aims for a world record and had the new Jaguar F pace loop the loop. A powerful performance and a clear message, this car aims to turn the SUV world upside down. F pace is a crossover and therefore it is a combination out of people who want to have the agility the sportiness, the drivability, but also the functionality and the possibility to go off-road. With the e-tron Quattro concept, Audi shows how it intends to develop its SUV family. The new machine is conceived as an all-electric car. Aerodynamic components on the front, sides and rear ensure optimal airflow around the vehicle. Yeah, it's Audi chairman Rupert Stadler says the e-tron is a statement about the design language of the future. The car's new fuel cell technology will give it a range of more than 500 kilometers. The company plans to bring the e-tron to market in 2018. Seat 2 has been hard at work on the SUV theme. Its concept car, the Leon Cross Sport, combines three doors and off-road capability in a new way. Matthias Rabe says the Cross Sport provides a glimpse of the Leon's potential. And Seat wants to see how people respond to this concept car. He considers it a fantastic car and wants to see it go into production. The Hyundai i20 Active also looks like an SUV. Markus Schreck, Hyundai's managing director in Germany, says it's two centimeters higher and has higher seats and metal cladding on the sides. It's a car for people who want to go off-road sometimes. It broadens the company's palette to target new customers. Lexus ties the SUV to environmental awareness. The hybrid RX450H is powered by a 3.5-liter V6 engine with direct fuel injection. Despite the system's 230 kilowatts, Lexus rates consumption at only 5.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Lexus general manager for Germany, Ferry Franz, says the car has been enlarged and given more legroom to meet customers' wishes. It has completely new navigation and safety technology. When it comes to hybrid technology, Toyota's Prius has been leading the pack for 18 years. At the IAA, the Japanese Prius's fourth generation has its world premiere. Fuel efficiency is 18% greater than its predecessors, and its whole body design is new. Toyota spokesman Dirk Breuer says the Prius has a new platform strategy, the Toyota New Global Architecture, or TNGA. Different models are built from the same range of parts. Und haben im Grunde einen, einen Grundbaukasten, aus dem wir viel mehr Modelle bauen können. Another successor to a bestseller is VW's new generation of the Tiguan, based on the company's modular transverse matrix platform. VW has big plans for the Tiguan. The GTE offers a sneak peek of an electric version. A sporty R-Line model is ready to go into mass production. We VW's head of powertrain development, Heinz Jakob Neusser, says the company will respond to market signals. And he can imagine a sporty derivative will do well, too. Volkswagen is also rolling out the Caddy Alltrack, an all-purpose vehicle available both as a sedan and a hatchback. Skoda's flagship, the Superb, has been given more space inside. Here at the IAA, the Czechs are showing their new station wagon version. Emil de la Bay, head of Skoda Germany, points out the completely new design language. The car is full of innovative technology, assistance systems, the latest infotainment, lots of room, and it comes with Skoda's persuasive price to performance. Opel's Astra, by contrast, has gotten smaller and more compact. 
And yet, inside, the completely newly developed generation gives passengers more space, and the Astra has shed about 200 kilograms. BMW's theme at the IAA is electrification, from the 2 Series through the 3 Series to the 7 Series, which is now being offered in a plug-in hybrid version, the 740 LE. It's rated at only 2.1 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. Mini is celebrating the premiere of the Clubman, which isn't that many at all. BMW board member Peter Schwarzenbauer says the club man behind him is at the upper limit of what can still count as a Mini. At 4.25 meters, it's 43 centimeters longer than the three-door Mini. Club man has enough space for up to five people and 360 liters of cargo. And folding the back seat down increases the storage space to 1,250 liters. Along with the facelift of the 911 Carrera, the Mission E-Concept car is the eye-catcher at the Porsche stand. It provides a glimpse of the company's first all-electric vehicle. Porsche says the Mission E has a whopping 500-kilometer range. Porsche CEO Matthias Müller expects the company to decide by the end of the year to market a car like this within a decade. He says Porsche's goal is to offer a true electric drive sports car that is better than the competition in many areas. Mercedes, too, is peering into the future. Mercedes research executive Thomas Weber says this is the fastest the company has ever developed a show car. The key was digital processes. Computers also opened the way to such low air resistance figures. The intelligent aerodynamic automobile has set a record for CW value, or drag coefficient, at 0.19. The extension in the rear gives it a rocket tail look. <laughs>